Dawson's Rambles. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Time for a quick little bit of Power Rangers, not Power Rangers, Super Sentai scan news. I'm so used to saying Power Rangers. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but this is going over the new mecha, some of which we kind of knew about, but this is the situation in which we get clearer pictures of everything, and I think it looks pretty cool, so I thought it would be fun to talk about it shortly. But we are getting our new King Express mecha, and it's going to basically one of its base forms is starting out as like a train. It's kind of this really cool train where it's like half of it, or most of it, is like this dark dinosaur-based train. Dinos again! Then like the top of it is more of like a machine-based like white part. So it kind of has this black and white, like dark and light contrast throughout all the designs, which I think, or at least the ones that were there together, which I think is really cool because you have like the more air vehicle for that, but then you have like the organic uh, dino look, but I, I like the look of the train. I think it looks neat the way it's like a contrast with two different heads basically. And then you have like the dino form which looks more, you know, dino-y to use a very technical term. But I think that looks cool too. It's not like my favorite dino mech design of all time, but I think that one looks pretty solid. But when you get them together, I think they look really cool. The combined mode is really great. Like again, I, I mentioned that dark and light contrast, which I think is really cool, and I think it really comes off well in the mecha, because you kind of have like the primary body being like that dark purple, and then this part here in the head is white, and I think it, it contrasts well, but also fits seamlessly together. And it also continues that look that I really like from Land Mage and Kiramajin of like this classic Sentai Robo feel, but also having this sort of uh, new sleek feel. It's like this good combo of the old and the new, and I've really been digging the mecha designs of this series for the most part, and this just kind of continues that, where it has that both retro feel and that new vibe and that very sleek vibe, which I really like, not to mention, like I said, the, the contrast, I think, really adds to it in a, a cool way. And then it has this, like, one mode where it's got, like, sunglasses over its, its eyes instead of having the classic robot eyes, which I think makes it look even cooler. Uh, we also have a look at the toy version of this, which, as usual, in most cases, I think there's a couple cases, maybe, where the toy looks a little bit better or something, but in most cases, it never quite does justice to what it looks like in the show. But unfortunately, I think Kara Major is one of the worst offenders so far. The toy doesn't look bad, mind you, and I'm looking forward to getting it. I think the T-Rex mode looks pretty cool, and the robot looks fine. I think it's gonna kinda end up being like Kara Major, where when you see it in either in person or in a picture, it does not look as cool as in the show. But once you get it and have it for a while, it kinda grows on you. Like, I still am a little disappointed that Kara Majin's doesn't look quite as cool as it does in the show, but the longer I've had it, the more I think it's serviceable. Like, it looks, not like it's a bad toy, but I mean, like, sitting on the shelf, I'm like, that still looks cool. So I'm going long-winded about something, but the point is, it doesn't look as cool as the show. I really wish they would advance robot engineering so it could look somewhat close to it. Uh, maybe it looks a little less bricky than Karamajin, but it still looks solid. We'll obviously wait and see until we get the toy till I form a full opinion, but it doesn't look as good, um, which is kind of unfortunate especially, because that's kind of something we're used to. Um, there's been some that are pretty close. I would say Ryu Soldier actually wasn't that bad. Obviously, it wasn't as mobile, but it didn't stand out like, oh, this really doesn't look like it's from the show. It just looked like they were from the show, but they were like this. So it wasn't that bad, but I think it's just kind of unfortunate with these because I really like these two mecha a lot, and then you just kind of have these generic robo versions that don't really show off how cool it looks when it's mobile. And it looks like this will be another one that I think will look really nice in the night fight scenes that they do in the series so far. But that's pretty much it. There's some little minor stuff about villains and stuff of stuff coming up and teasing stuff, but nothing too major I wanted to discuss. I primarily wanted to discuss the mecha. But what do you guys think of this design? Do you like it? Do you like Karamajin more? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think of the toy? Do you think we could see improvements on the design front for those to make it look a little bit closer to the suits. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.